All right, hope you enjoy. Do me a little quick playthrough here, right quick. you enjoy people welcome back to Jason Parks I never let you down as soon as this thing loads if it will load Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Pekowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. DR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good, get going. Oh yeah, I have plenty of questions, but I'm not allowed to ask, ask you anything. Better go earn our pathetic wages. Okay, Rimsky, that... O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. We catch all the good ones, huh, folks? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new packet unless they're bartered without asking. Yeah, they did. You know that? You got fired with that, huh? Very funny. Alright, after this, I'm thinking I'm gonna do the Lost and Damned until Grand Theft Auto V comes out. Try not to be late. Can we try to spare the general population, please? Yeah, I'm sorry. My driving might suck, but I'm a cop and I have the right to be in a hurry. <laughs> Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian's dumb company is humping the secretary. Margaret is just right. Probably comes before a fall. Oh, I wonder what's now. Sorry, cops. I am a cop, too. Oh, let's move the car. I'm just gonna move the car. You don't have to get in. Oh, yeah, there we go. Cart down the alleyway. Thank you. <clears throat> Hope y'all enjoy. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle. Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might it be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? <laughs> no. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Into this sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. Uh, in the end of this case, I know someone's going to go to jail for Grand Theft Auto. You must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have it. And it's great value. Never. by the Argentinian Embassy. Yeah, a broken windshield. Of course someone stole this car. My name is Einstein. Empty. And one wheel. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. Oh. oh boy. Mm. 
Yes, they can. Oh my god, you're afraid. Let's, let's hope that not happened to us. You haven't given me anything to go on. Oh, oh great. Oh, this, I didn't mean to do that. I already saw that, okay. Yeah, this is hard for me. No. Maybe this ball that they broke in for it. No good to me. Nope. Stole it from a car dealership, I, I guess. We better see what this Jacob guy has to say. The car was dumped in his backyard after all. Good thing for playing detective. Alright, I'm sorry if I aggravate you, but I'm gonna see how the audio is. Just a little bit more louder. No, not too loud. That's, yeah, it's as loud as it can go. Music, let's not go that loud. All right, that's good, thank God, that's good. All right, I'm sorry, okay, let's go ahead and play the game now. Oswald Jacobs? <laughs> that's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows, always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. All right. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Oh, boy. Can you tell us what they were doing? using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. Oh, curse you out in Mexican language. Well, yeah. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off, no, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Oh, come on. You had to be nosy. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. Okay, I'll take that. It looks like the kind of guy who knows You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. 
candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Uh-uh, I remember you said they were working on the Ford and all that to strip your car down so they can make use it for their Ford. They took it like it. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? You want my partner to pack you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, if you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Huh. Thank you. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. By R and I, they'll give us information that will be. Contact details on William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. You said it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get going. Use yes, this phone again already. Belt, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. What's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is this boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Oh. Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Boy, if we were about to bust a teen, that would have been like... Any message? Not like me. There's just one message for you, detective. <laughs> a four-door Packard, diplomatic license number, Paul Robert. 706 was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Did you have him brought in? He's already here at Central Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Oh, can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. All right, let's not keep this guy waiting. I'll head right on over there. Hurry up, let's go. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have got this. Oh, one more after the break. Not your favorite cases. I had no idea. You kidding me? This is barely even police work. All the bad guys in this city, we get bummed up the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. I hope you get the death! <laughs> I hope I get the death penalty. <laughs> oh man. The take the not knowing how to do Juan Francisco Valdez at your question. Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep so this guy fair. waiting. It's this way. So he won't be suspicious. Let's go. About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Kowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? 
I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend, let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez, Consul General, I insist on my full title. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. It's not like you doesn't drive an American car. I want answers or I'll smack you around the teeth. William Dewey offered me a substantial bribe to make a purchase at his establishment. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Well, tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? Yeah. It must have been stolen from the council garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, your worship. Uh, you sound like you're telling the truth, but I think you're not. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Council General? Are you going to tell me, or do I shake it out of you? There's no call for violence. <coughs> I suspect a disgruntled boy from the car dealership. You have a name for this kid? Gabriel, like the arcane. I have no surname. So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in with him? Oh, Mechanic, yeah. a presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. But we do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. It comes with the turf. <laughs> You fuck young boys, Valdez. Are you a madman? This will cause an international incident. All right, what about that notebook? Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Tony. Four weeks. I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. Gabriel, spill it. A beautiful but impertinent boy. I mentioned a rendezvous and the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. We'll be in touch, Consul General. Wrinkled, but that's one of the things I wanted to be when I grew up. I want to make a homicide. I mean, you know you made it if you got that done. Y'all are in working in the police department. I'm a side Thank God. I'll get rid of them in a couple of hours. Let's see. Next consular transportation. All right, you're making it worse now. I think what you're trying to say is that lover boy in there is as full of crap as a Christmas goose. That is well.
All right. Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wreck? I don't know, Detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. Yeah. Keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, do we? Go sell some cars or whatever it is. All right. Is it this one? That's not right. Yep. This one's in the red. The rest of the two are in the yellow. Now I do it. One left. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three quarter. <laughs> We have a few questions. Packers are great cars. But this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. I don't know about this. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. We talked about Valdez. He was very obliging. He told us all about the arrangement. Man, how did we Quit find him? Okay. So I met Valdez in the bar. He cut a deal. He bought the car through the embassy. I cut him to change on the side. It happens all the time. I know where both suspect lied to me and their car is stolen. That's just a shame. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. Sure as hell isn't here. Oh, smart mouth. Address. 
Dewey? Well, my partner shoved her head in the car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. You got a stolen car. Why in the world are you lying to me? I don't get it. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it. You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. So I hire a few illegals. It's cheaper than hiring and returning to the eyes, and they have less attitude. The downside is, they're a little light. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. No problem. God damn that kid. I'm just an honest car salesman. Seems like you just don't know who you can trust these days. Honest car Going salesman. Go to the movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. Honest Time car salesman. Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. You've been us the whole time. Alright, next location is going to be at that apartment. We are in a rush. Of course we are. Gabriel has to stay for himself. I just hope our archangel hasn't already flown. What the hell is this guy doing? Uh, where do you see a number three marked on that door? Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? Not happy to see us. What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Miss Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad... So how far along are you, Anna? Nearly 
20 weeks. Souvenirs are a dumb move. Right. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? You are wrong about Gabriel. He will be a good father. Already he works hard to provide for us. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. Mm. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. Ain't that right? What a, what a evidence. station. If I have to, I will bring up our baby. Oh my god. That is all I have to say to you. Oh, stupid. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. No. No, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. All right. You're right. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on 1st and Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. We will put in a good word for you, Adam. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line? That sounds like a street race to me. It's gotten out of hand this last year. 
Right, at worst, the egg sit. Where's the egg sit? You know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets. All right, I didn't know where it's at. Did I say it? Just gotta make sure. Yeah. The cop they've been talking about on the streets. What another conversation? Oh my goodness, how do I get out of here? Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamppost. The next 16 year old I have to peel off the sidewalk, you're called. Me. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. Goodness, that was too t that was too hard for me. Man, 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 man. Hurry up, hurry up. Quick, we're getting away. Phelps, well, 1247. Requesting assistance first from Santa Fe. Stay on the gun. Take this guy out. Step on it, Phelps. Take him out. 
Get a gun! All you do is wheel arches. Come on! God, I have a hard time doing this. Come on, I'm getting green by a kid for red war. God damn it, Cole, oh, hold it steady. I have a hard time facing this guy. Finally. Gabriel Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Fuck you, puto! You just picked up the maricón! Valdez, I shot him! Now who is that man? I should have burned his fucking car! Yeah, and you would have been charged for all arson as well. You got a foreign dignitary out as a fruit the kitty rapper. Car dealer, we're gonna let slide. Take that. Punk car dealer, we're gonna be taking liberty for other people's autos again anytime soon. That detective felt is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low, your hands high, you keep bringing me clearances just like that. That's textbook police, and we need more of it. Five stars, a rainbow.